Good Wednesday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on weather-wise around the area this morning, and we'll go ahead and get these temperatures turned on as well for you. You can see we've got some isolated showers and storms moving through to the west of us, basically up in the mountains and foothills. There are a few little isolated uh, areas of showers around the county right now. Not sure how much of this is actually making it to the ground, but if you are lucky enough to be getting some rainfall, certainly take advantage of it as it's much needed for sure around the area. 68 degrees to start the day off at the Mid-Carolina Airport in Salisbury, 68 here at the Weather Center as well. And you can see temperatures pretty much in the 60s all around the area, 63 up in Boone. And it looks like the warm spot on the map is Charlotte coming in at 72 degrees this morning. So definitely a, a very, very mild start to the day. Let's go ahead and turn the temperatures off and take a look at the bigger picture. We've got the front that continues to move through closer and closer to the uh, to the uh, western North Carolina. It's kind of bowed out a little bit over the last few days, and uh, that has certainly uh, helped keep the rain off to our east and down to our south and southwest as well. Some of the folks down in the uh, southern portions of the uh, country are certainly uh, dealing with a lot of flooding issues, especially uh, over in Birmingham and, and locations in Alabama really getting some uh, some heavy flooding from from the rain just kind of stalling out hanging out over those uh, over those locations and that certainly has kept it from raining here as this front is just kind of stalled and, and just kind of meandered around uh, and it will eventually continue to make its way east to us and I think that late Thursday, and uh, during the day on Friday, we'll certainly pick up some rainfall from this system uh, once it finally starts to move east once again. But it has certainly been just kind of holding its own over the last couple of days. Now, let's go ahead and take a quick break. We'll get a word from our friends at Patterson Farm. We'll come back and give you the five-day forecast and more right after this. Hi, it's Michelle Patterson here at Patterson Farm Market and Tours, and we're so excited to reveal our 2021 Corn Maze design, which is Visit North Carolina Farm. We hope you and your family will visit us here at Patterson Farm Market and Tours this fall. For more information about our fall events, please check out our website at visitpattersonfarm.com. And we hope to see you here at the farm. Weather Impacts for today sponsored by Patterson Farms. The fall fun on the farm going on right now. For more details, visit pattersonfarm.com. You got the uh, corn maze going on out there. You saw the details for that during the break. Also the pumpkin patch. And then of course you can stop by the market and of course pick up, a, you know, purchase a pumpkin to come home, bring home and decorate with, make a jack-o'-lantern, whatever it is you'd like to do with it. And then uh, also pick up some fresh from the farm produce and some other goodies to bring home and enjoy as well. The weather impacts for today, we'll see patchy fog lingering through around 9 a.m., mostly cloudy skies today. Rain chances increase as we move through the afternoon and evening. Be much like yesterday, uh, where you could see some rain, you could not. Uh, it's certainly been very spotty around the county and around the area over the last couple of days. Rainfall amounts will be minimal once again, less than a tenth of an inch, unless a thunderstorm passes over your location, if you're lucky enough for that. The 2021 tropical cyclone means there's nothing out there in the Atlantic right now that we're keeping an eye on. Wanda is the only name left on the predetermined list that was released for hurricane season, and we'll certainly continue to keep you updated on that. The pollen outlook has uh, low levels today, medium levels through the weekend, and uh, the main pollen drivers are grasses, chinopods, and ragweed. The pollen outlook sponsored by Good Nights Lawn Care. These guys take care of my lawn, and I love it. They offer services like mowing, trimming, seeding, mulch, pine straw, and more. For more information on services provided, give them a call at 980-521-1937. And the mowing forecast, I think you've got plenty of time really to get it in today and tomorrow. Uh, rain chances will be minimal. Could see rain chances start to really increase uh, Thursday afternoon as we go into the evening hours. And then for Friday, I don't think it's going to rain every minute of the day, but certainly uh, that will 
that front will finally start to be moving through. And as it does, it'll certainly uh, bring a more increased chance of rain for us. So it could be kind of touch and go for you on Friday. The mosquito forecast continues to show medium levels of activity through the weekend. And then the five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first-time service call. Today, we'll see mostly cloudy skies during the day. 78 for the high, 64 for the low, 40% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. Again, I, I, it's going to be pretty minimal, I think. We'll see, again, accumulations of less than a tenth of an inch, most likely, much like yesterday. On Thursday, we'll see mostly cloudy skies during the day, high of 75. Rain chances will increase as the front actually does start to make its way into the area and through the area on Thursday and Friday. We'll see a 70% chance of showers and storms Thursday evening with a low of 63. On Friday, 75 for the high, 62 for the low, 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms throughout the day on Friday. Not gonna rain every single minute of the day, but certainly uh, better chances for rainfall on Friday than we've had all week. And then for Saturday, we'll see partly sunny skies during the day, high of 74 with a 60% chance of showers on Saturday afternoon, and I think they'll be short-lived if we get them, uh, and then we'll kind of be partly cloudy for the evening hours, low of 60 on Saturday. And then for Sunday, we'll see partly sunny skies, high of 76, with partly cloudy skies Sunday evening and a low of 58. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather, you can visit our website anytime at www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Wednesday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.